Hey guys, welcome back to Subterrain! My name is Twitchy and we are playing the part of Albert West, disgraced scientist and by the looks of it, lone Mars colonist. If there was an entire Mars city here, it is called MPO. What does that stand for? I don't know! Well, I, I've been looking for what the acronym could possibly be and it just doesn't appear to be labelled anywhere. Maybe like military prison, outpost prison? No, that doesn't make sense at all. Anyway. We have fought our way through from a holding cell, up through the prison, in, out through this main entrance to the tram. The reason we came here was because the guards were trying to transfer all the prisoners via the tram. And who am I to mess up the guards' plan? Let's go in and have a look here, shall we? All right, cool. Where are we going? Well, we can only go... Oh, there we are. M MPO prison. We can only go for a few places. Doesn't look like we can go to the Pisces district or Viking square. Looks like central is the only place. An Hour and forty. Yeah, I'll go. I'll go for that. Cool. Oh, nice. All right. Let's let's just sit on the, on the train, chill out, not have to worry about anything. We can time control. We can watch this in normal time, can we? All right. An hour forty, guys. What should we talk about? No, no. Let's hit faster. Should should work through pretty quick. I'm a little disappointed about this contamination. Look, it's going up. It's constantly going up. We need to somehow try and figure out how we can decontaminate ourselves. Now, I, I don't know whether uh, sheep dipping is a thing on Mars. There's got to be some sort of way of ooh, dunking ourselves into some antibiotic fluid and coming out on top. Yep. Yeah. Uh, all right. What's this? Are you sure? Yes. There we go, I saved the game. Alright, cool. Uh, what? We could do that at any point in any way ever, right? Is that is that not a thing? I think they were only going to allow you to have save points in this game until uh, someone decided it was just too much work. Journal! Central control! The tram brought me to central control without any issues. Everything seems fine. But that's rather odd, actually. I wasn't exactly sure what to expect when I arrived, but I didn't expect silence. Central tends to be swarming of people, hovering over terminals, talking through corridors, guards posted up at doorways. Instead, it's a ghost town. The good news is that the oxygen generator seems to be running. Otherwise, I would have suffocated as soon as I opened the tram doors, because that's how that works. Hopefully, most of MPO is in similar shape. Maybe I can check the status of each district's life support system somewhere in central control. Maybe, maybe that would be good. All right, so we need to try and find somewhere to check life support systems in all the different areas. First things first, I better check on the reactor, okay? Con central control is where power is monitored and distributed through MPO. The reactor is in a secured area, but it... It's literally down the hall. Okay, cool. I can easily access it should I should it need maintenance. You know, should it? I mean, why, why would the main power source ever need maintenance, though? I'll need to keep the reactor work in working order as the entire colony is dependent on the power supply from this location to keep life support on. On top of that, the tram doesn't seem to be able to access any location that doesn't have power, so I have to keep that in mind. So it's only here in the prison that I have power. I should explore the area and search for supplies, but most importantly, I should look out for the power control console. It's going to be around here somewhere. Murray Space Center lost power, but if I can reconnect it, I might be able to find a way out of here. Or better yet, off Mars. Am I going to like completely try and run away from any legal ramifications of what I've done here? Is, is that what I'm supposed to be told here? Because... Because we have found ourselves in a desperate situation, we are absolved of all our previous wrongdoing. Is that, is that how it works? Okay, this is a recharge station. I don't I don't think I need an on, oxygen canister? But no, no, this isn't an oxygen canister place, is it? I, I don't think so. This, this isn't even somewhere we can go. Temperature canister? Okay, that's... I mean, it's good that you've pointed these out. Ah, I see. Temperature, oxygen... Power. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. That that's pretty good. That's pretty good. All right. What have we got here? Uh, we got a hand scan. No, nothing. Product output. Okay. That's that's a thing there. And what's over here? Uh, material storage. Yeah. All right. Cool. We'll, we'll have a look. There's a bunch of boxes over here. The uh, the scavenge is real. Let's start with the medical. Of course. Ah, no medicals for me. Could really have done with those, to be honest. Uh, in fact, is this entire place? Oh, it's not quite completely empty. Do I need another power pack? I don't think I do, but I'm going to grab it anyway. You never know. Maybe the spare will be. Wow. What is this place? There is all sorts of stuff. But yeah, maybe an extra one will be useful. 
Uh, interact. This facility is unpowered. Ah, uh, this facility is unpowered. So we need to go and find a power system somewhere. Repairing. Wes can perform limited repairs on some weapon suits and generator model modules using the nano reconstruction facility. This is limited to 50% of the original durability of the item unless the software is upgraded. Okay, well that's a thing. So this is this is a repair bay, is what I'm being told here. Okay, I, I don't have anything below 50% yet, so we'll just continue onwards. Is this this all lit up here? What 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 is this? What is this one? This it's all unpowered. That that's what it is. It's all unpowered. Uh, maybe we should have just gone down the main hallway, but I kind of feel like searching all these extra rooms. What have we got over here? I do not know. This is a crate full of a broken thermal regulator. I'll take one of those. Also a thermal canister. They sound like very useful things. Also wire. Uh, everything else can kind of just go back and around. Temperature regulator. Uh, we, we've read that bit already. Uh, well, why does it keep giving me stuff? Okay, I'm probably going to just leave this here. Like, honestly, we want to keep this place warm, right? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I'm not so fussed about that, but, but let's know that it is a thing. Let us know that it is a thing. Why don't I just interact with it? Ah, oh, I thought I saw some stuff on the floor. I was like, what? Uh, these are not searchable. That's, that's a little bit disappointing. How about this one? It is searchable. There does not appear to be an oxygen filter and an oxygen canister. Oh, I can't do that, can I? Just take all the stuff. Just just take all the stuff. So much better. Oxygen generator can replace the filter in an oxygen generator. Restore the oxygen to a normal levels. I mean, I, I think this one works fine. Look at it. It looks like it's working fine, and I'm breathing fine. So we're, once again, not going to mess with it. That just seems like a bad plan. If it ain't broke, don't try to fix it, right? That's that's the way it works. All right, let's go and have a look outside this door here. Any bad guys? Any bad guys? I'm going to go south first, or downwards, if you will, just to see if the... Just to make sure there's nothing behind me. That, that's what it all boils down to here. I've heard there are some nasty nasties on this station. And I do not want to mess with them. Is there actually an axe here? Hair dries. Hair dries. That's, that's great. A frame. Uh, I don't know what I'm... Ooh. Ooh. I was about to say I'm not sure what I'm looking for. I think I'm looking for these. Uh, side bag I'm not so bothered about. Let's... Uh, hmm. How do I want to pop this stuff over here without just kind of dropping it all? Do I, do I literally have to scroll down like this? Okay, we'll do that. I'm not sure how much room I've got. Oh, hello. <laughs> I'm not sure how much room I've got left uh, over here. 19 out of 22. Well, that, that solved that mystery pretty quickly. Uh, I'm going to leave these lying around. No, don't sleep. Stop. Get out, get out of bed. There we go. Um, I, I, I didn't really want to do that. Hacked keycard class B. I'll take that. Oh, that's two of them now. Nice. Uh, I'm not so fussed about the light stick. Let's just kind of push this desk back into place and go up through this set of doors over here okay off this way i still haven't found power control uh toilets though no it turns out i don't need to go no one there anyone here no okay that's that's pretty good that's pretty good there is a searching spot over here so this game heavily about the exploration and looting uh, so it's, it's it's what we're gonna what we're gonna see a lot here if you don't like that, try watching in times two speed. It probably helps a great deal. Oh, wow. Nano casting. Well, I need one of those just in case. I hear these are the things that heal fractures. Look at that. Brilliant. Brilliant. Uh, just the one will do. Are these all drugs here? Duration short. Mobility plus stamina infinite. Uh, detect enemies. That sounds like a good one. Uh, decontamination pill. I've been looking for one of these. Oh, man. I'm just going to just gonna click that straight up. Let's get ourselves decontaminated here. I'm not sure how well that's going to work. We are currently at 50% contamination. That's pretty nasty, if I'm to be honest with you. Uh, nobody's home. Looks like there's nobody here, living or otherwise. Everyone seems to have either evacuated or whatever did this isn't around either. I guess this place is safe for now. I may as well set up my base camp here. This would be a good place to stage my escape. It is the bit in the middle, right, where you can go and get everything. Fortunately for me, most of the important facilities for MPO are within walking distance from central control. I don't even need to power up these sections to reach them. I could probably reboot the 3D printer and other facilities at Nielsen Engineering, maybe even print out some supplies I need. Herbert Research, where I used to work, has research equipment I could use to feed the uh, feed instructions to the systems in Nielsen. So I need to do stuff here to make this work, okay? I'll probably have to use the excavator, the mine, to gather materials for the 3D printer. I should also check the biosphere. I could probably use the agricultural system there to supply bio combiner and Nielsen engineering, maybe even sustain myself. Wow, where are we going to go first? Biosphere, mine, 
research or engineer. I feel like research is probably going to be a pretty early one. I should check out each location and see if I can figure out what's going on. At the very least, I can get these facilities restarted. I can prepare myself for the worst. There are a few staircases leading to these areas somewhere around here. I'm sure I'll recognize them once again if I see them. Okay. Not a soul. Not a soul. That's nothing there to search no these are all draggables that's that's okay under what standard colonial suit i'll take one of those thank you look at this it's got like actual armor to it as opposed to my prison garb uh, i'm not even gonna gonna take my garb with me that's 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 horrible just reminds me of bad times that's not how you get out of a tree a chair uh mm, these i kind of want to take them all with me but i'm i'm getting i'm getting loaded i'm sure i've got a load of stuff on me that i don't need uh, but at the moment, I'm mainly looking for decontamination pills. Aha, power control room keycard. I will take that. Thank you. Uh, contamination is still pretty high up, if I'm to be honest with you there. Not looking too great for the future. Are we actually beyond redemption? That is the question. Are we beyond it? Have, have we actually already started an unstoppable process that's going to lead us to turn into one of those horrific, nasty garish creatures we saw. In fact, I like being garish. Don't, let's, let's not put that word in there. Uh, okay, any food? Snack? Ladle? Cutting board? I mean, the snack is a food. Let's, let's be honest there. Am I hungry? Uh, thirst? Hunger? 14? No, the, I'm, I'm more thirsty than I am anything. No, I don't want to drink from a sink. We can find some more food around somewhere, or at least more drinkable water. How um, about you? A plate? Not really gonna... I mean, like, I know, end of the world. There's no reason to become uncivilized and not use... Oh, baked beans. Nice, I'll take those, thanks. Uh, and not use the utensils provided. But... I don't know. I feel like eating off a plate is a little bit too much. Uh, no, I don't want that anymore. 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 Okay, so that was the. Oh, that's the kitchen. A little disappointed, to be honest with you. Pack a pack of crisps and some some baked beans. Oh, that's that's like my own personal nightmare right there. All right, let's have a look. This place looks a lot more like a storage area. It does actually look entirely like a storage area, but there's all sorts of stuff around here. More importantly, where's the bad guys? Like, I would have expected to have seen many more bad guys around here. VR headset. No, no, we're not going to take that. As much as I really do want to. Uh, like, what have we got that we can get rid of? I don't know, any of these could be useful. I have no idea. We're just going to leave this here for now. Uh, what have we got over here? Jeff Murray figure. All right, hype. Uh, touch tablet. Uh, really, I don't, I don't know at the moment what's scrap and what's useless, you know? All right, so that that's a storeroom. We'll go back to the storeroom at some point. I was kind of hoping... Oh, look, what's this? Generator room. Can't open the generator room. That's that's disappointing. That's disappointing. So yeah, we'll come back to the storage room when we actually figure out what exactly it is we need. What is this gun here? It's an SMG. Okay, okay. Maybe I'd be better off with the shotgun. What do you guys think? Definitely with my like panicked method of shooting. Might might be the better way of doing it. Uh, where are other doors? Here are some other doors. This one over here. It's red. Uh, power control room. All right. Cool. Power control room. This has got to be the power control console. Yeah, the door said so. It kind of has to be. As usual, there's no one here either. I should be able to control the flow of power for the colony from here as well as monitor the generator's current status. The generator not operating at full capacity, so I should be careful when connecting additional sectors to the power grid. I could overload the reactor if I draw too much power. If I do, it will overheat and probably initiate an emergency shutdown. That would be bad. I could end up stranded if I'm not careful. And what's worse, ox working oxygen filters and temp temperature regulators can't function without power <sighs> a blackout means certain death as far as i'm concerned i can i can't sit here i can't just sit here though i'll have to power up other locations to gather supplies and gather information if i want to get out of here there's a lot of consoles around here if i search them i don't know why that gets highlighted i might be able to find some information all right okay let's have a look at these consoles around here what do we see i'll take the generator room key card oh split stack no there's only oh there are, there are two i'll take two of those Thanks. I bet there's another door on the other side. Uh, this computer console is open. It's going to tell me all about the power console. Now this, this is new, so let's read it. The power console can be used to connect or disconnect power from the central control to other locations on Mars. The generator has a limited output capacity that can be expanded with upgrades. The generator will overheat if Wes uses more power than it can produce. He said that. When it begins to overheat, a countdown will appear. Once the countdown finishes, the generator will shut down, causing a colony-wide blackout. 
trams won't run without power, so don't get stuck. Uh, okay, let's press E and see what we, what we can see about this. So we, we said the research was where we wanted to be, right? Power usage, power capacity, overheat risk probability is next to zero. General infection level, environment, power usage. This, okay, this is nice. This is nice. There is a lot of information to be talked about here. Let's uh, let's fire up the research then. How do we do this? Disconnected. Do I press this button? Connected. All right, cool. Overheat probability still very low. Three hour timer. Uh, local infection, temp oxygen and temperature level. Okay, we need to try and do something about that. Look, it is cold. Uh, we also know it's up and to the right, so we'll try and do something about that. All right, now, are there any more information about what's going on? Martin! Exclamation mark I double clicked it oh it goes up into my journal when that happens Martin no Martian <laughs> I don't know I keep this recording on uh, recording on so you, you keep this recording on you so you can remember what you need to do you can do this I know you couldn't find much in the space center but don't lose hope we don't have spacesuits, so I need you to avoid the areas where life support is down. The central cluster still, still seems to be okay. I want you to take the train there. Head over to the mine and try to gather up some supplies. You won't believe the stuff they have in storage over there, and you might be able to find some food in the break room if it hasn't been raided already. Grab whatever you can find, then head back here so we can get out before those, whatever those were, get you. Please, for the love of God, don't get too distracted. Do not run off to the central plaza for choco pies or anything else. I'm counting on you. Get what you can from the mine and head back here. No choco pies. That's an order. So I'm hearing there's choco pies in the plaza. Uh, and don't forget that key card. It's the only way to open the Space Center security door and the only way back in. We need to try and keep more of those things out. This is the only way. Don't lose it. It's Captain Roger, signing off. Oh, Captain Roger sounds like a good chap kind of got his head together no knows what's going down uh over here what have we got in this place can i can i please have the thing power console update let's read this one as well shall we all right dr can i, ma I managed to figure this out using the data you got from Ro uh, dr roskowitz i came up with an in user interface modification so we can calculate the rate of infection from a glance it's really simplified but it'll get the job done First off, we managed to tap into each district's biome scanners. Bio scanners, sorry. Thankfully, they are subsystems that are directly powered by the generator, so we won't have to worry about keeping a observed locations powered. Each, each district's infection level is calculated by density. The more there are, the higher the percentage. Once I figure out a better way to calculate the population, I'll patch it in. But for now, I'd just set, it, set a high threshold. If the district was above 80%, I'd steer clear of it. Don't even want to think about what 100% would look like. The next thing I've added to the UI is an infection rate. Dr. Raskowitz, of, the, of all people, was right all along. Low oxygen levels and cold temperatures speed up the infection rate. Uh, the infection rate readout will monitor temperatures and oxygen levels and factor though that into the estimated rate of growth. Once you get those prototype filters and regulators, this system is prepared to measure the suppression effect and factor it into those calculations. I didn't get any of this, Dr. Khan. I mean, I punched it into the data. I punched in the data you gave me, but can you explain what's going on in a way I can understand? What's the cor correlation here? I've heard the evacuation announcement. It's just a matter of time before I'm allowed to get the hell out of here and figure out all of this. So I'd rather not know how crappy the situation is. I'd be better... better it's better to be oblivious if this situation is really as bad as uh, security claims. Oh, no, never oblivious. Never oblivious. Always know what's going on. I'll take a research key card. Do I want a game controller? I don't know. It sounds like a good idea to carry one around just in case you find something you need to interface with. And there is the engineering key card as well. Now, I want, I want all of these, please. Thank you. I, I just kind of need to keep them together. Can we do that? Yeah, yeah, we can. Okay, that's cool. Rearrange my, my inventory to be a little bit better to look at extra key card you know what i'm gonna leave these here uh, can i actually split this off what did, what did i click earlier okay there we go split that like that and then i want to move you over there all right we've got spares spares are just in case okay so what's up here what do we see there's a wide open door what have we got to here mpo biosphere Nelson Engineering or Nielsen Engineering. Uh, Hubert Research. That's kind of where we want to go, but let's check out all these other places, the mine, and then what generator room. Do we do we have a way to get into the generator room? We do. I feel like this is one of the first places we need to check. Okay, I'm just gonna leave these doors like this. A key class class A. I don't have one, unfortunately. That is a big unfortunate. Alright, what's going on up here? 
the generator. I found my way into the reactor for the colony. Okay, it looks like the generator's reactor modules are burning out due to damage. The generator must have at least one operational module installed to prevent a meltdown. I might be able to find some spare modules around here somewhere, but I should plan on taking a a core down to human research once there I can see if the research machines can create a schematic that can use to produce more in the engineering okay so that's that's nice and easy not a soul around really really okay so what is this so there's a reactor module is there another reactor module over here okay so there's two um is there somewhere to put a third what the security turret Ooh, generator is capacity is determined by the generator reactor modules the generator modules degrade slowly over time and mutants will try to destroy them oh wow Oh, wow. Is this more modules over here? There's more turrets. I know that much. Wow, okay. This is good. This is good. So we can put more cores over here as well. That's a lot of lot of reactor modules. I like this. I like this. Okay, so what is up here? This this seems to be just an, an open area. Uh, radiation. While I was exploring the generator, I found hallways branching off in all directions. It seems containers of radioactive material have been spilled. I shouldn't get any closer or find uh, or finding my way out of here will be at least of my problems. It's somewhat unsettling that all three hallways have had the same accident. Whatever the case, these hallways lead to the, leave the generators vulnerable. There's no doors to close off so, uh, should something come down this way. Wow, okay. Yeah, let's let's not let's not do that, shall we? Let's not do that. So, oh, I I get it. I think I get it. So, I've been reading some stuff up about this game, and every now and then when your global infection gets too high, you uh it's like a wave attack coming in from the mutants and they will come and try and attack your generator now you can put sentinel turrets up if you find spare smgs lying around and as i've got an smg in my inventory i might try and actually do that but i think for now i'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure ladies and gentlemen i will see you next time when we're going to figure out the sentry turrets we're going to go to research and try and figure out how to upgrade the power systems here and we're basically going to just try and find out how we make our way off of mars bye